Well, this looks a little different. So we're currently in the town of Springdale, just outside of beautiful Zion National Park. Our trip actually started a few days ago back in Vegas, where we watched uh, the Leafs smoke the Golden Knights. <laughs> gambled away a lot of money and just had a great time exploring so we just got back from the angels landing hike in uh in zion and we have a have a minor announcement joel did the deed So to celebrate today, we are headed four hours uh, away from here to a place called Monument Valley. We're gonna be staying the night in like a, a mud house. It basically, just looks like we're staying inside of a rock and celebrate. Okay, there's three different mountains, like a green and black one. Like it's the contrast is just insane. <laughs> like a casual, just like giant <laughs> tabletop over <laughs> there. Whoa. Arizona. We still have hills on both sides, but you can definitely tell it's uh, it's quite a bit flatter. Yeah. It's a lot more deserty looking. Kind of what here. we were expecting. Yeah. We we're actually shocked about how mountainous our drive has been this far. So. Right out of Las Vegas. Yeah. Into Utah, it was lots of mountains. It was amazing. This is still nice too. Just um, just different. Just different. Well, this wasn't on the official itinerary, but. We just passed this place and you turned Had to, uh, go in. to check it out and not even sure what it's called, but this place is pretty cool. Like nothing we've ever seen before. Ooh. Yeah. I don't know. This place is uh is really cool. It kind of looks like or kind of feels like we're on Mars. Whoa. <laughs> that's so cool. That nah, doesn't look natural. How does that make any sense? How did that get there? <laughs> now we're on Mars. Yeah. <laughs> We've officially landed on Mars. What in the, so cool. what are those things? I'll have to put up a tent right here. Yeah. How awesome would that be? That's the dream. Almost touched the top. Really? <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, certainly happy we pulled over. This random uh, trailhead was something that we didn't really expect, but well worth the little hike. Also, apparently we're back in Utah. Didn't know that. <laughs> I don't know when that happened, but this is Utah again. There it is. There's our home for the night. <laughs> Looks so cool. Look at our view. That's a cool key. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. This is really cool. There we go. Wow. So we got wood in there. The temperature right now is very comfortable. 64 degrees, but overnight it can drop to, to freezing. So we're gonna start a fire, keep it low, and then maybe load it up a little bit before bed. We should be good. Yeah, that, that's gonna rip. Is it? Yep. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's already ripping. Cheers. Cheers. What are we cheers into? 
the future. Oh, that's nice. Yes. <laughs> oh, I see some smoke coming in. Shut that down for a bit. Really good fire. I mean, it's the desert, so <laughs> <laughs> they don't struggle with what wood. You wouldn't think so. Nope. So the mud house we're staying in is actually called a Hogan. It's a uh, traditional Navajo home. Got some history, even shows us how to build them, which is really cool. Joel's already asking us if we can build one at home. Very cool. Yes. <laughs> so we're still breaking the news to both sides of the family about the engagement, and this is what we just get back from my little sister, Kate. I'm actually shocked. Like, I thought you were calling to say Adam did something stupid, like injure himself. A proposal was like the last thing I expected. No joke. <laughs> Hence why I asked if everything was okay. <laughs> I guess that's what you get for waiting 10, 10 years, but who's counting? I was. <laughs> so I think a lot of people would be surprised to know that <laughs> Adam and I have actually been dating for about 10 years <laughs> before this proposal happened, so it was about time. And to celebrate our engagement, we have a very fancy meal planned. A canned chili. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> I'll do one or two cans. We're actually not just having chili, we're gonna try to make chili bread bowls. Chili bread bowls. I don't know. We were looking for bread. We saw these. They were called soup breads. So we got inspired. So I'm going to attempt to oh, cut a hole. Ooh, look at that. There we go. One done. Okay. Nice. Ooh, what? <laughs> <laughs> And I've recently discovered that I love avocado in chili. Don't know why I never tried it before, but we did last week and it was amazing. Oh, I think it's getting warm, it's getting thinner. Step one, open the bowl. Try to do like a little wine swoop at the end so it doesn't spill. Okay. Oh. Leave it. Some avocado in there. Oh, shoot. Put the cheese first, I think, right? Nah. Okay. Good for me. Yep. Thank you. Do it again. Cheers. <laughs> I think we probably should have got champagne, but Corona is definitely a step up than my usual Molson Canadian, so. <laughs> is your plan to mix it? I'm just gonna go for it. Mm. Great camping meal. Except for camping. <laughs> Great easy meal. Very easy. We were on the road for five hours today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we are and we hiked four hours as well. It was a great day. A long day, but a... And I got engaged. Yeah. It was, it was a pretty epic day. <laughs> yeah. If we had made the chili ourselves, yeah. like the one we did last week, that was great. Mm -hmm. I probably would have given this a nine, mm. nine out of ten big, with this store bought chili. canned chili. Maybe goes down to like seven or eight. Mm -hmm. Not to say my chili is the best chili in the world. <laughs> <laughs> you sounded very cocky. I did, but I just like making things from scratch. Yeah, I, I agree. Know what yeah. goes into it. And I mean, it's it's definitely not as good as your homemade stuff, but mm -hmm. this is still pretty damn good. I'll go eight out of ten. Mm -hmm. Now the best part of this is that the bowl is edible. <laughs> what does this remind you of? What? Back in the day, Tim Hortons used to have chili in a bowl, but it was a bread bowl. Ah. Like. So I'm a copycat. Yeah. <laughs> couple logs in the fire and I think it's just about time to wrap up uh, a very busy but good great day great day <laughs> we'll see you guys in the morning good night
Good morning from the Hogan House. Uh, pretty good sleep last night. The, I don't think it got much colder than nine degrees Celsius last night, which is quite a bit warmer than what we're used to at home. Um, so didn't have to wake up once to stoke the fire. Yeah. Got it rolling again this morning. Uh, beautiful outside. So we just figured out the stove. We're gonna get some uh, some coffee going and hopefully enjoy a nice sunrise. There it goes. Nice. Good job. We just realized that we don't have any mugs and there's there's no mugs in this place, but I did buy my mom a Las Vegas mug from Starbucks at the hotel. So sorry, mom, we're gonna use your gift. One last look. Well, we're all locked up and uh, ready to roll. We're headed to Sedona for the next uh, two nights and uh, then head back to Vegas to, to fly back home to Toronto. To back to Chester, boy. Back to Chester. <laughs> Happy could share that uh, that special day with you guys. Uh, it was definitely one to remember. And uh, we'll catch up with you guys back in the woods. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope mm -hmm. you enjoyed. And we'll see you in the next one.